Hello everybody and welcome to part 10 of my video sailing course. In this video I explain how you can stop a sailboat by sailing up head to wind. Everything I show in this video you also find in my book Learn to Sail with Captain Sailnator. There I describe everything very comprehensively step by step and explain a few more tips and tricks that I could unfortunately not show in this video. You find a link to the book in the video description. Disclaimer. This video is not meant as a solo teaching aid. It is intended as a supplement to a sailing course. Never go on board a sailboat without an experienced sailor or rather only under the supervision of a licensed sailing instructor. Thank you very much. In which case do we need sailing up head to wind? A sailboat has no brake. If we want to halt a sailboat at a certain destination we cannot simply sail towards it and stop there. That will not work. The boat will hit the target and bump into it. And no matter on which course we sail, we cannot stop. But there is one area in which it is impossible to sail. And that is when the bow points into the wind. If the boat is up into the wind, the sails are blown to the stern, they flutter and do not fill with wind. That way we can stop the boat. So that means that we have to head up and sail into the wind. That way the boat will stop after a short time. If we want to steer into the wind, on which side of the destination do we have to be then? Windward or leeward? If we sail towards the destination this way and sail up head to wind, we cannot reach it. That is why we have to be leeward of the destination. Now the question is how far away leeward of the destination we have to sail up head to wind to stop exactly where we want it to. Many boats take about a boat's length to stop into the wind. But that depends on different factors. If we sail up head into very strong winds, then the wind pushes harder against the boat and the stopping distance may be shorter. In weak winds, there is less wind pressure and the stopping distance may be longer. We have to take this into account. There are at least also two more factors. If we push the tiller very hard, the boat turns around very fast and that creates a high water pressure on the hull and that slows the boat down. That can shorten the stopping distance. This can help us, for example, if we notice that we are too close to the destination. Then we can push away the tiller fast and hard. But if we do that slowly and sail a large arch, then we might go even beyond the destination. So that is what you have to factor in. It also depends on the construction of the boat and its weight. You just have to try out on open water how long the distance is for sailing up head to wind with your boat. And with a bit of practice you even get a feeling for it too. Let's assume with this boat and the current wind we need one boat's length distance to the destination to sail up head to wind pinpoint. What else do we have to keep in mind? As I said, we have to be one boat's length leeward of the destination. For that we envision the windward-leeward line. At this line is the border between windward and leeward of the destination. And to sail up head to wind we have to find the line that runs a boat's length parallel to the windward-leeward line. If we are windward of this line parallel to the windward leeward line, then we have to bear away to get there, then head up again, sail on this line, follow it and then sail up head to wind. If we are leeward of this line, we first have to head up and then bear away to the line which runs a boat's length distance parallel to the windward leeward line. We follow this line again and then sail up head to wind. If we found the line in a boat's length distance leeward parallel of the windward leeward line, then we have to steer into the direction of the destination at some point by pushing the tiller away from us. But the boat needs a certain distance to make a turn. If I push the tiller only on this point, I sail too far. The distance we need for the turn is again about one boat's length for many boats. But on the way you can still always steer and possibly change the direction. But you are not allowed to steer back in any case after sailing too far. So the destination has to be in one boat's length distance leeward of the windward leeward line. And one boat's length before we are on the same level as the destination we sail up head to wind. Just like I show here. We sail up to the true wind. You can see that here at the flag on the buoy. The wind blows from here. On which point of sail we sail on the way depends on our speed and the wind force. So from where the apparent wind comes from. The apparent wind comes from further ahead from the true wind. But what does that mean? I explain that in the video The Theory Behind Sailing. You find a link to the video in the video description. So if we now found the line in a boat's length distance in leeward parallel to the windward leeward line, the process is the following. 
We follow this line. The helmsman can give the command, ready for sailing up head to wind. The crew answers, ready. We sail on and about a boat's length before we are at the level of the boy, the helmsman pushes the tiller and now he commands, release sheets. The sheets must now be cast off so that the sails can swing freely. If we do not do that, we have wind in the sails for too long and the boat misses the destination. Therefore the command release sheets. The sails can now swing freely, we head for the buoy and the boom will keep moving towards the middle. The tiller points after we pushed it away from us, in this case to starboard. Then it follows the boom, the further the boom moves to the center of the boat. And in the best case at some point the tiller and the boom form one line so that the boat stops. If we now push away the tiller and the boom goes to the other side because we oversteered a bit, we point with the tiller to the boom again and follow it to the middle. In the end it would have to look like this when the boat stands still. If we are not sure how far the ideal distance to the destination for sailing up head to wind is, then we better start from a bit too far. Because if we are too close, we might go beyond the destination. This is not a big problem when the destination is a buoy, but if we want to berth the boat and sail up head to wind from too close, then we might hit the jetty and boat and dock will break. So in case of doubt, we better sail up head to wind from too far and if we do not reach the destination and already stop here, we simply back the jib. Then the wind pushes into the jib from behind. The helmsman changes seats, pushes the tiller away, and the boat goes backwards and turns by doing so. As soon as the wind comes from the side, we haul the sails and sail forward. Then we tack and just try it again. Everything I show in this video you also find in my book Learn to Sail with Captain Sailnator. There I describe everything very comprehensively step by step and explain a few more tips and tricks that I could unfortunately not show in this video. In the next video I will explain man overboard. You can find a link to the video in the video description. If you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel so you will not miss the next video. You also find a link to my book in the video description below. It is written in a way that you can prepare yourself for your next sailing lesson with the respective chapter and then repeat everything you learned afterwards. The book is also available in a colored version and as ebook and book and ebook are great to prepare yourself for a sailing course and also to read during the course about what you are just doing. It is written in a practical way and I think your sailing instructor will explain everything in a very similar way and after reading the book you will understand him better and faster and then you will even learn to sail faster. A link to the book can be found in the video description. I self-published the book and I would be glad if you buy it and support me as an independent author. Thank you very much.